Here's a quick Bondi Scrapper video. Uh, one of my neighbours has just left this big TV out on the verge, ready for council cleanup or council pickup. I've just gone and grabbed it. I've got a, an appointment in an hour that I cannot miss, but uh, I'm going to see what I can get out of this thing and just at a quick look. A stack of uh, low grade copper wire. There's the um, copper here around the tube. There is have a crack at that that transformer in there that looks all right um, big piece of uh, extruded aluminium there and of course the big wire around the what's it called the degaussing cable around the around the TV as well so uh, I'm switching off now because I need to concentrate on pulling things apart but I thought you might want to see the bonanza that's inside this thing it's a, a Phillips um, and it has got a, uh, a SCART connector on it, so it's kind of a late model one, I guess, and boy, it was heavy. It weighed about 50 kilos. Uh, anyway, back soon. Alrighty, that just took me 26 minutes. This thing's stripped out as much as I need to strip it out. Um, main board was an absolute doozy. Yeah, I'm moving quick. Uh, there's one more TV to go and get. I'm going to bolt this up like I was never there. Here's what we've got. Big thing of wire, bits of aluminium, big transformer, a whole heap of little transformers. There's some bounty there for 26 minutes work. Uh, but of course I've got to do a bit more processing so it'll probably turn out to be an hour. Here's TV number two. It's a Sony. It's huge. There's my hand. But uh, let's see what we have to do there. So half an hour later, here's the Sony TV all pulled apart. We got the massive classic Sony yoke full of copper. Lots of copper coils on it there too if you want to strip those down. They're great. Um, the amazing, truly amazing Sony degaussing cable, which is just freaking huge. Um, I had to take three bytes at it with my, um, what do you call that thing? Side cutters. And... Uh, Various other wires and aluminium heat sinks and bloody bloody blah. So uh, not a bad haul. Uh, still got to strip it all down. There's at least another half an hour there, so don't think this is easy money. It is not. Um, anyway, I've got to go because yep, I've got to start getting ready to go and uh, visit someone in the hospital. So there we go. Um, catch you later. Bye. So uh, I've scrapped out, micro-scrapped, probably scrapped far too much the uh, Sony TV. Let's see how much we've got for that one so far. Tiny bit of stainless steel, not worth counting. Tiny bit of copper there, also not worth counting. I've got some aluminium there. That stuff is, I'd call it general, it's just flat plate that's been bent. That stuff's extruded. Uh, $1.40 a kilo there, $1.90 a kilo there. I weighed it all up together um, and just called it $1.40 a kilo. So it's worth a fraction more, but not much because uh, there's only 0.25 of a kilogram there. There's 35 cents worth current value. Uh, next thing we had was all the low grade insulated wire. That's all in there. Uh, again, not much. There's 300 grams, um, which I think might not even be a pound. Maybe it is a pound. Who knows? Uh, that was the 60s that I stopped using those. Um, but uh, low grade insulated wire, it's 3.95 a kilo at the moment. So there's a dollar 19 there. So uh, that's not bad for a little bucket of crap wire. Uh, burnt copper, which was the, uh, the coil, the coil around the back of the tube, and, oop, and anything else that was in there. Um, all of this stuff is from transformers and things like that, uh, which I pulled down and to be honest, it, look, it took me about two and a half hours, but I was watching TV at the same time. So, so, uh, probably not worth it in an hour, hourly rate type thing, but it did keep my, my hands busy and stop me going and grabbing a beer out of the fridge. So that was good. Um, yeah, burnt copper currently, or last time I went to the yard about a week ago, 10.65 a kilo. Uh, there's 0.6 of a kilogram there. Um, this, these coils, they look fantastic, but they don't weigh much. Six dollars thirty-nine worth, and uh, and the and the big deal was um, 
the degaussing wire around the tube in that Sony TV is absolutely mammoth. It's about a centimetre in diameter. Um, almost half an inch, call it three eighths of an inch for those folk that use Imperial. And um, there's a kilo there, wait on. The thing's just stopped. Let's see what happens there. Starting up, something zero for some reason. So if we do that, because it's zeroed itself out, so minus 1.069 kilo. So just over a kilo there, but let's call it a kilo for the sake of um, ease. And uh, $11.10 a kilo at the moment, so there's $11.10 worth of wire there. Total comes to just over $19. Um, so that's the Sony, and I'll try and get around to doing the Philips sometime soon. See how we go there. And it's about an hour later. I've stripped down all the stuff that I got out of the Philips TV, and uh, very interesting. Um, so this bucket of uh, low-grade insulated copper wire, and uh, 0.48 of a kilo, so a little bit more than the Sony, which only had 0.3 of a kilo. Uh, 3.95 a kilo. There's a dollar ninety's worth there. Aluminium. Well, we've got these two, oop, two plain bits but we also got this quite large piece of extrusion. And uh, the aluminium, there's 0.6 of a kilo there, and 0.5 of that, half a kilo, is the extruded stuff, which is actually worth $1.90. But because I'm feeling a bit lazy this morning, I'm just gonna say it's 0.6, it's $1.40, and you'll get 84 cents out of it. Now, hmm, hey, maybe that's a dollar. Uh, if you take the extruded rate of $1.90 a kilo, uh, burnt copper is there. And this is going to be interesting when I take this to the scrapyard. All this good. These two bits off the uh, the yoke are just absolutely covered in resin. And so whether or not they decide to say something, there's even a bit of, uh, still a bit of ferrite, the, um, the magnetic material, I guess you'd call it, uh, hiding in there. And uh, yeah, whether or not they say something is another question, but uh, let's just assume it's all good and that, that'll be let's say hidden away amongst all the other burnt copper. Um, 10.65 a kilo, there was 0.7 of a kilogram there, which is surprisingly close to the Sony one. And uh, $7.46 for that. And Bear Bright, well, that's the degaussing cable, which was extremely easy to strip. It was in a loose sheath. You didn't have to actually cut anything off it, unlike the Sony one. Uh, it's about half the length of the Sony one. It's about one third of the diameter. And uh, possibly this tells you why uh, Sony CRT TVs had such a great reputation. And, and Philips, I don't think, make TVs anymore. Um, they're a great electronics company. They do excellent medical equipment. But uh, I think they might have priced themselves out of the market on TVs. And in order to try and get competitive, they started to pull the uh, materials out. And um, that is a slippery slope backwards down into uh, just not selling product anymore and losing a great name. But there is a lousy 0.13 of a kilogram, 130 grams of Bear Bright in this machine. And uh, 11.10 a kilo, a dollar 44's worth. But keep in mind, keep in mind, the total of that, $11.64. So it's mm, not quite half of what uh, the Sony was worth but that only took me 90 minutes to strip down including the uh, the strip down out in the uh, yard uh, the Sony took about three hours all up so mm, as an hourly rate that's about six and a bit dollars an hour and that one is about let's call that $12 Four dollars every half, yeah, about eight bucks an hour, eight dollars an hour, more or less, just under seven dollars and a bit. Neither of them are great returns. That's about mm, one third of the minimum wage in Australia. So, mm, in a lot of these cases, just it is not necessary to do a micro scrap like I just did. Um, scrapping in Australia is all about bulk. It's all about just throwing the stuff at. Uh, Throwing the stuff at the scrapyard and letting them handle the, uh, the shred down because they've got big machines to do it. But anyway, that was fun. Uh, I haven't done a CRT TV, I would say, for about 18 months, maybe two years or something like that, for an awful long time. 
And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you feel like it. If you don't, that's fine too. Uh, it's always good to have everyone watching. And um, catch you next time. Bye. Whoops, in the uh, yeah, professional videographer that I am, um, I forgot all about the transformer that was in the Philips TV. I didn't take it apart. It was going to be too much of a pain in the neck, even for my patients. Uh, near enough three kilos there, $1.10 a kilo at the moment. So call it $3.30, um, or if you want $3, whatever. Uh, so that's another $3 onto the Philips one of, where's our bit of paper, $11.64. So um, let's call it 15 bucks. Not too bad. Certainly better than the Sony in terms of time expended. Bye.